and rarely, if ever, does she do anything for herself. It's always for someone else. Today, we award a local teacher our Wish TV Golden Apple Award, a teacher who's rarely in the spotlight, quietly improving lives for students and families in Johnson County. She had no idea we were coming to her school with a big surprise and a special nomination video to help her students say thank you. She is a sixth grade English teacher at Indian Creek Middle School in Trafalgar. Her name's Kimberly Appleton. Brenna Donnelly had a chance to pay her a surprise visit. This was such a fun surprise, guys. We did it in front of something like 140 sixth graders. They were enthused. Mrs. Appleton is so deserving, though, because she makes sure that students have everything they need to succeed, and that goes beyond school supplies. Let me show you what I mean. Ask any teacher. Some kids are less than excited to start sixth grade. That was me last year. I did not want to come to school, but I came in and she made it, you know, she made it fun. The she is Mrs. Kimberly Appleton, who helped Wesley Lane change his attitude. I loved going to that class last year because she she made learning fun for everybody, and that was that was everybody. You know, it wasn't just one person, and she she just helped me with my grades a lot. And not just his grades. And if I ever was having a bad day or anything, she'd let me come in and talk to her. Sierra Carter wanted more than just coursework out of school, so she joined student council, and Mrs. Appleton helped her serve. She always put um, the students first, and actually helped us a lot. And she did it with a smile. <laughs> she's funny, and yeah, she's always in a good mood. Alex, get my good side, okay? She helped mentor Craig <laughs> Davis when he was a student teacher. He says she teaches others to care through her caring example. She had closets full of like old clothes if students needed them, or she kept. She's the one who taught me to keep like a cabinet full of like granola bars or like crackers for a student who just might need a mid-morning pick-me-up. Her winter closet impacts even students who don't need to use it. it. Makes me feel really happy that people can actually get the winter clothes that they need if they don't have it. If it's khaki pants or dress pants and they don't have those and she's make sure that she makes sure that they have them, then that's, it's a huge impact on them, not only on their self-esteem, but also on the relationship that she has with the students. Once you have a good rapport with the student, you can get them to work for you. To work and succeed. They know that she genuinely cares, so they want to make her, you know, make her happy and make her proud. She's impacted not just her school, but her own home. She was nominated by her sister. As a mom, we were struggling at home trying to get through the e-learning. She could talk me through any of the lessons that we were struggling with. She's one of a kind. I mean, she, I don't know what I would do without her. So at a supposed fire drill, we helped these goofy kids say thank you. Okay. I'm Brenna Donnelly from Wish TV, and you have won our Golden Apple Award, and we're happy to award you in front of all of your students. Well, this comes with more than just a surprise. We at Wish TV has partnered with Bailey and Wood, and Miss Bailey Wood has something to tell you. Hi, I just want to say congratulations. It is such an honor to award you this today. Obviously, you're an amazing teacher and your students love you. This is a trophy for you, but Dave and them actually have a little something extra for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> just to, to say thanks. <laughs> okay, have we surprised you enough yet? Yes, absolutely. Because uh, we have one more for you. Okay. Do you happen to have your cell phone on you? Like, some kids don't like to go to class. I love to go to class. She's kind, and she really um, likes to um, help us with different kinds of things. Yeah, she's a, she's a go-getter teacher. And if I ever was having a bad day or anything, she'd let me come in and talk to her. Kim, I just wanted to tell you thank you um, for all you do. I think of all the times that I drive past the school, and it can be 8 o'clock at night, and you're still here. Coming from one teacher to another, I see all the hard work you put into your class. Thank you for being a kind teacher to me. 
I've learned so much from you. I'm so happy for everything that you've done for me and brought me up and uh, just everything. Thank you. You know, every day it's a new challenge, it's a new obstacle, um, and I just think that they fill my heart. Um, they definitely fill my heart with joy, and I love what I do. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Thank you. You mean so much to me. <laughs> Come on over, family. <laughs> Now that moment with her family is significant. She was nominated by her sister, as I said, but she's also from a family of teachers. And I mean really here, her husband and her mother and father-in-law alone work in the middle school and other family members teach throughout Indian Creek School. So congratulations to her. Nice part of that too is that she could actually share some hugs since there were family members. <laughs> right, in, in the right there desk, next to know. her, I know. <laughs> uh, the, the, this winter closet idea, and we've heard this from time to time about truly great teachers, they go beyond the curriculum, right. have a little something aside to make sure the kids are, are sort of as a whole doing all right. It makes such a difference for those kids, especially from a rural community. Sometimes it gets really cold, really windy, and they needed those coats and jackets, but they also have food in that closet. And her sister actually told me that uh, Mrs. Appleton collects prom and homecoming dresses as well for the high school girls so that they have access to those too. What a great idea. <laughs> she's just a lovely person. She and is. Uh, we know that she's one of so many across <laughs> our area, of course. And I know now nominations are open for November, right? We want to do this again next month. So yes, please, nominate a teacher in your life and tell us a great story about them. We'd love to put them on TV and share the Golden Apple Award with them. Outstanding, Brenna, as always, thank you. Mm -hmm. 739.